Hey everyone, welcome to Review Radar. In this video I'll show you how to play Fortnite on PC with a PS5 controller, also known as DualSense. So first of all, we will need a piece of software to achieve that, which is called DS for Windows. Go ahead and type that in into your search bar in Google. And then you just want to make sure to click on the second link. Now you want to click on the second link and navigate to GitHub. And here you want to pick up this Net8 desktop runtime. If you want to do this beforehand, go ahead. This will be absolutely mandatory and required for this application to function. Or you can just download the archive. After that, unzip it to your computer and the first time you launch this application, this one right here will be downloaded automatically. So just uh, download the zip archive or the 7-zip and unzip it into any folder on your PC that you want. All right, and now basically in here, the very important steps. This will be the first window that will appear after you launch this application. You want to install the drivers first. The one, as you can see under step one, is going to be uh, the VGM bus driver. This is absolutely required for this application to function. Just press on this button and install it. In my case, it's already installed. And then uh, step four, uh, optional install head high driver, install this uh, just in case. Uh, so press on here as well. After you install these drivers, uh, reboot your computer. After rebooting your PC, uh, go into the settings once again. And in here, I will tell you which settings you want, you want to set and enable. So firstly, if you want this application to run at startup, go ahead and uh, press run, run at startup. Also make sure to tick hide DS4 controller flash at high latency, set it to 10 milliseconds. If your controller will have a high latency, it will be displayed right over here. Or you can also go to the log file and we'll see it here. Back to the settings, start minimized, set this one, close minimizes and quick charge. You do not need to touch anything on this metal pane. Then, which is absolutely mandatory, go to device options right here on the right side. And in here in this window, you just basically want to make sure that your DualSense controller support is enabled. Basically just tick this button right over here and then just close out. Then go to profiles and create your first profile. Now you just basically want to connect your controller in any method you want, for example, wireless or wired, and then just press start right over here on the bottom right. And your controller will be connected and displayed in this list as you can see DualSense right here. I am using the wireless connection, which is also Bluetooth. And now go ahead and create your first profile, then click on edit. You can do it from here as well. So go ahead and open up the list of your profiles. Then for example, choose any profile you want, then edit. Now assign the buttons to your controller in any way that you like. You can fully emulate the actual controller by setting the same buttons that you have on your controller. For example, the cross to cross, square to square, circle to circle, options, share, all of the usual stuff, or you can actually rebind any of these keys in any way you see fit. Now in here, in the dead zones, you want to make sure to edit only this dead zone, the upper one, dead zone right over here. So never set this first number because your dead zone will be insanely high, you won't be able to play, and only edit these two next numbers right over here. As you can see, I have 0 0.6 in here. This is the dead zone that I've set for my uh, main controller. So depending on what kind of stick drift you have, if you do not experience much stick drift, you can set it to lower. If not, you will have to go above 10 or maybe even more. And also do not touch this anti-dead zone if you don't know what you're doing. So this is going to be our left stick, as you can see, LS. On the side note, make sure to set the output curve to enhance precision. This will make sure that in your Fortnite game, your aiming will be precise and accurate. Now lastly, go to other and make sure that the emulated controller in here is set to Xbox 360. You can choose the DualShock 4, but it will have less support. And also if you're playing wirelessly, that's going to be the last tip. Make sure to set the polling rate right over here in the bottom to a thousand hertz which is going to be one millisecond to have the lowest delay possible and after that you're just basically ready and you can just play the game 
So with launch up Fortnite, you can go ahead and open up the Fortnite settings for your controller, fiddle around with the settings a bit if you want to change something, and you will be ready to go and your controller will work in a plug and play basically mode after you set it up in the DS4 Windows. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, leave a comment, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.